Are you tired? Are you finished? Are you done? These are some of the things that I used to say to myself often. There were times when I just felt that I could not go on. I felt that there was nothing else left for me to give or do. I'd given up on myself. I'd given up on me. I was at the lowest of the lowest. And I felt that I could not go on. I felt that there was nothing left for me to give of who I really was. Because when I got to a point when I felt so weak, I felt there was nothing else left for me to give. But then something happened. Something woke me up. Something made me realize that I had work to do. Do you know how many people have had visions, ideas, and huge career moves that they were about to make? And they allowed the word no to stop them. When you make the decision to do what you want to do with your life, just know this, because the family and the friends in your life do not share your vision, in most cases, they will be the first person to try and talk you out of what you want to do with your life. But know this, only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas. Never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas. And understand that for every level, there's another devil. It is the devil's job to create challenges, issues, and conflicts, insecurities, fear, because he wants to put you to a test. But I can tell you now, I piss the devil off every day because I just don't stop. And the devil is so mad. It's it doesn't matter if he gets sick, it doesn't matter what happens to his money or his finances. Every time he gets out of his bed and he's on a mission to get it done. And as you begin to look at your life, decide that you're going to start working on that dream. You're going to work and nurture that idea. Now, there will be people that will criticize you. There will be people that won't see it for you. But I say to you, don't let nobody turn you around. You don't need anybody to understand it. You don't need anybody to approve you. You don't need anybody to say, go ahead on and do it. If you get that, that's fantastic. If you get that encouragement, that's great. But I say stand up within yourself boldly and say, this is my life. I'm controlling my destiny. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you've got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. You need to hear this loud and clear. You need to get this in your spirit because I don't know what you're walking through, but some of you right now, you are in a tough season. An event has happened and something's happened and maybe you have failed, but I want to remind you that failure is not final, it's formative. It is part of the process. It's part of the journey. Your failure matters as much as your success. How do you think you're going to grow if you don't ever fail? Yet some of you have failed and you have decided, well, guess what? I'm a failure. No, failure is an event. It is never a person. Just because you failed doesn't mean that you're a failure. In fact, failure is actually fuel for your future. You have to fail in order to succeed. The darker the night, the brighter the morning. This too shall pass. You're going to get through this thing. At some point, Everything's gonna go south on you. Everything's gonna go south and you're gonna say, this is it. This is how I end. Now you can either accept that or you can get to work.